Welcome to Round 5 of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of January 17th. I'm Nicole Erdix, and I'm here with Catherine Haleko. Hello. And Terry Morrow. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing, and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. Um, I don't often shout out books, <laughs> uh, not because it just, I don't, I used to be such an avid reader and these days it's just not a priority, sadly, but I've started to listen to audiobooks, and, um, which I've been enjoying because I've been able to reconnect with my, one of my favorite authors of all time. And I started reading his books Oh, when he started writing them. So a couple decades ago, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, And he's a kind of a psychological thriller writer. His name's Jonathan Kellerman. Mm -hmm. And he has numerous books under his belt. I don't know how many exactly, but I just finished listening to The Wedding Guest um, on uh, Audible. And it was really enjoyable. And I really liked it. And I was like, you know what, what? I this it kind of took me away it I you know I listened to it while I was exercising or folding laundry and it was just a really nice um yeah it was a good story as always and so if you're looking for an author who's got a you know a series it's the same characters um the same kind of you know like I said psychological thriller but every one of his books I don't think there's one that I've not been happy with um they've all been really good books so check him out um jonathan kellerman and his all his books which i love are set in la and he like specifically identifies certain places in la and names streets and restaurants and all kinds of things it's really cool so you can if you know la you can kind of follow that along so cool yeah that's always fun that's my shout out for this week harry what have you got um well i have another also have an audiobook and a couple of weeks ago, I talked about an audiobook I listened to on my vacation when I suddenly had time to sit and listen to things. Uh, and another one of the books I listened to during that time is called The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. Uh, I think John Green is mostly known as a YA author. Uh, the Fault in Our Stars is possibly his most famous one. But he has also had for a while this podcast on which he just sort of reviews random things in the world on a five-star scale. Uh, I've been very entertained by the podcast and I saw that he had a book with the same title. And so I wanted to check it out. This is what uh, the publisher's site says about the book. Uh, The Anthropocene is the current geologic age in which humans have profoundly reshaped the planet and its biodiversity. In this remarkable symphony of essays adapted and expanded from his groundbreaking podcast, Best-selling author John Green reviews different facets of the human-centered planet on a five-star scale, from the QWERTY keyboard and sunsets to Canada geese and penguins of Madagascar. <laughs> and it is just delightful. And I, I enjoy listening to him talk. I enjoyed the podcast, and it's fun listening to this again. And also just some of, some of the, the things he comes up with. And usually he'll start out talking about one of this thing he's reviewing and then go into some personal stories from his life that are all very interesting and moving and uh, sometimes funny, always thought provoking. So if you had interest in the podcast and never quite got to it and think, hey, what I would like to do is sit down and listen to 10 hours and three minutes of the podcast all in one lump, <laughs> you might enjoy this audiobook. Uh, you can also certainly listen to it essay by essay. Um, but I think that uh, it's really an interesting an enjoyable experience to have essays read to you by somebody who reads very well. And uh, I would recommend it. So that is The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. So how it, is it different from the podcast? I mean, do you it's feel been a while like you've heard I, it already? It's been a while since I listened to the podcast. I also think the, the podcast took a big break. I don't even know. It's not coming up in my feed now. So I don't think he's doing it now. There were a few in which certain parts kind of made me think, oh yeah, I kind of remember this one, Mm -hmm. but in no way did it feel like, oh, I just listened to this. I got to listen to it again. Right. So uh, 
either it's been long enough since I listened to it the first time that I don't, I just remember a few details. And usually when I recognize something, it was, oh yeah, I remember this. This was so good. So, uh, or it may be that he's added Mm -hmm. more. It may also be that I came into the podcast already in progress and missed a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I think even if you listen to the podcast, some it's worth getting the audiobook and just listening to them. Um, you know, in short succession in this right. way. Uh, just lovely, really lovely. A symphony of essays is a good way mm. to describe it. So mm. um, nice. Catherine, what do you have? Well, since, yeah, since you all came up with books, then <laughs> I will do the same and mention um, a book that I got recently from one of my book club friends, but it wasn't a book club pick. Um, It was just something that she read and passed on. And it's called The Hundred Year House by Rebecca, I don't know, Mackay, M-A-K-K-A-I, Mackay, Mackay. Anyway, um, it is the story of this big estate and it starts out in like 1999, 2000, and the story of um, this kind of younger woman and her husband who come to live in the carriage house of this big estate and while her mother lives in the um in the main house the big house um but in its sort of in its past this house had been an artist colony and the mm-hmm. husband in this case um is interested in a poet who had um been at the artist colony and so he has an academic interest in this in this poet so he's trying to figure out you know get information about the poet so that he can write a an academic book and get a job as a professor and all this um so you get this whole story about them living in this in this carriage house and it trying to find out more about the big house but then it skips back to 1955 and you hear about who was living in the house then and how they're related to the people you just read about uh, tells a whole story about them and then it skips back again yeah. to 1929 and you get even more backstory so it's wow. basically kind of in reverse um so after I finished it I kind of started skimming it again from the beginning because you know you had a, you found out so much along the way um, about all these people. So mm-hmm. it's pretty fascinating. Hmm. That sounds good. Boy, yeah. such good reading material here. Don't take time out of your podcast listening to uh, listen to these <laughs> books, y'all. <laughs> right. And I did, I did read this on paper. I did not listen <laughs> to it. And I think, I mean, I, I'm sure if there's an audio book, it's lovely, but it was nice to be able to flip around. That is true. I do Once I that. got into the second and third parts. Yes. Um, sometimes I wanted to go back to the first part. Yeah. When I'm listening to audiobooks, sometimes my mind wanders mm-hmm. and it's like, well, how far do I have to rewind? You know, to yeah. Figure that out. Flipping is much easier. And mm-hmm. I should also say that if you wish to read a hardcover of the Anthropocene Reviewed, one of the things he talks about is signing your name for uh, like, uh, you know, author autographs of books. And then mm-hmm. he signed his name some thousands and thousands and thousands of times on pieces of paper that the publisher then put into these books. And I see now, if you go to the publisher's website, they have autographed copies of this book. So <laughs> if that's the kind of thing you like, you could get a signed copy and then you oh. could hear him talk about what he learned when he was signing his name thousands and thousands <laughs> of times. Fun. All right. Well, This has been Parenting Roundabout Books Edition. (laughs) And that's it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we had to say about texts to new parents, ways to motivate kids, and our kids' favorites when they were little. You can also find all our episodes of ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. 
And please visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash mamatude, where you can find links to some of the things that we talk about. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday. Bye.